back at Spot X. Beautiful weather for fishing. Rain and overcast. Fishing on a pilly again. Old mate next to us has got a balloon out. Some liveys. See if we can't get our first bonito of the season. Big Sambo. He's on. He's got a biggie. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! 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 Definitely getting bites. There's those little pop, 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 quick ones. Onto another sweep. I think I got another sweep. <laughs> oh, I don't know how. The hook's bigger than its mouth. Oh, yeah. Cracker. <laughs> the cast today was uh, cloudy. Well, they fucking got that right. It's cloudy. <laughs> it's also fucking raining. <laughs> no, get nothing with the bait, so just put on a uh, metal slug. Throw it out. 40 gram. See if we do anything. All I ever catch today are sweet. But they're getting bigger. <laughs> Unbelievable. Sweep after sweep after sweep after sweep. It's been very quiet. Only getting sweep on the on the um, pillies. I've thrown a couple of lures, just uh, surface lures. But now we're gonna put this diver on. See what happens. Oh. 
So yesterday's session uh, started off with all the promise in the world, hoping that we'd get our first Bonnie of the season, but um, wasn't meant to be. Uh, in saying that, we did end up with that one good um, salmon that you saw Twan get. Uh, he didn't want it, so I've taken it. Um, Australian salmon, I believe most people think that they're really bad to eat. Um, I do a fish curry with them and it comes up brilliant. Uh, so I suggest you watch this and maybe the next Australian salmon that you get, give it a go. Because I used to throw them back, but now that I've got this recipe, they come home. The missus loves it. And if the missus loves it, then more reason for me to go fishing. So stay tuned and um, give it a go. So this is the ingredients. I've gone ahead and prepared the salmon. I uh, obviously just filleted it. Just one note with that. I've kept the head. There is a lot of meat in that head and in those cheeks. That makes a really good uh, stock. Um, so I can make a really good stock from that, which is a base of what I use for when I do a paella. So just keep that in mind. So obviously I've filleted the fish one onion, um, diced, two tomatoes diced, we've got a can of coconut milk, one chili, mind you I am cooking for the family so if you do like chili then add more, garlic, two cloves of garlic and a bit of ginger all diced up put together and then we have one teaspoon of each of these so you've got the Ken's, uh, Keen's curry Mix turmeric, cumin, coriander seed. It's probably only half of, the of a teaspoon for the coriander seed. And a little bit of uh, sea salt. There it is.